Whether you're talking about moldings, regulators, engine or brake parts, sending cores to Southeast Chevy Parts is not as easy as it may seem. To begin with, because of the EPA and various federal regulations regarding the shipment of hazardous materials, it's particularly important that whenever you ship to us any type of item that has had fluid in it, that it be completely drained. These items could include master cylinders, treadle vac units, power steering control valves, power steering pumps, in other words, anything that contained any type of fluid in it. Our recommendation is that you actually use two plastic bags. Go ahead and roll the item in the first plastic bag, and then to ensure that you'll have no problems with the EPA, go ahead and roll it in the second one. Let me give you an example of what not to do. A few years back, we had someone attempt to send us a carburetor, and they failed to remove the fuel from it. So it leaked all over the box and the EPA got a hold of it and confiscated our carburetor. Well, it wasn't ours, it was our customers, but it took us over a year before we were able to get it back, simply because he had failed to send the pieces properly. In addition to wrapping them, it's very critical that the padding be in place. You should use something like peanuts or bubble wrap or anything that would be able to provide some type of cushion so that the product won't be damaged. If you're going to send moldings to us, we would recommend that you use a PVC pipe or a special heavy-duty cardboard shipping container. If you use a cardboard box, it's critical that you use a 1x2. You can strap that to the molding itself and make sure that it stays on the inside of the box so that you can save yourself a few dollars on shipping. Also, this is critical because it'll help protect the item and keep it from getting damaged in any way. Lastly, and absolutely critical, is to include a note in the box with your name, and contact information. Just last week, we received two packages, both on the same day, one containing a booster and the other one a windshield wiper motor. Neither of the boxes had any instructions in it. No phone number, no nothing. At least one of the boxes had an address on it so that we could write the guy and say, hey look, what are we supposed to do with this? Did you buy something from us? Who are you? Please, be sure whenever you send us anything make sure you give us your contact information. If you've already purchased the item, then what you can do is make sure that you put a copy of your invoice in the box so that we can make sure that we get you credited in a punctual manner. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below or email us the email provided on the screen or give us a call at 407-886-1963 to speak with one of our original Classic Chevy Parts experts and let us help you get your Classic Chevy Dream Car on the road today.